Hi everyone, this is Brendan. Um, another open spokes talk on uh, this time on leadership. Uh, Susan Spellman asked us to. Susan Spellman Cam asked me to uh, say a little something on leadership, and I hope I'm not too late on that. Um, <coughs> I, I've worked in public schools for the last 15 years. Well, public schools and some ed tech companies, and. Um, in public schools, leadership is um, the leaders that I've had. Some have been good and, and some have been bad, but uh, it's a very political game in public schools. Teachers, principals uh, really need to know how to work the system and within the system. And um, um, for good or bad, I think sometimes that compromises the leadership. And I, not necessarily that they're bad leaders, but it, it makes them, um, uh, well, put it this way, the whole reform idea of, of accountability, um, I think it strikes a chord with people, even though I think the motives behind the leadership on that are a little off. I think it strikes a chord with people that saying, listen, let's get out of the bureaucracy and do what's right for the kids. Stop waiting around, and, and, and if you know what's right, do it. Um, the, the problem with that is um, what I think is right and what you think is right are usually two different things. So if I go and, as the leader, go and do it, and it's not what you think it is, then you think I'm doing the wrong thing. So, so that's why I say it's not really a bad thing that there's... Um, a bureaucracy that the leadership in public schools need to follow because it's not there to hinder, it's there to make sure that the public institution still serves the greater public and, and not a great leader. Um, on the flip side of that, uh, open learning, open leadership in, in open learning is, is a lot different. As I ran the open online experience, um, I was free to run things my own way, and um, <clears throat> I could have taken, and there were several times when, uh, you know, the opportunity availed itself, and, and some people really wanted me to, to, to make decisions and tell people what to do and, and, and follow through that way, and uh, <clears throat> that's the wrong way in open leadership, so it's a little different than public education, but it's, it's, um, uh, hard leadership to master and it's a hard leadership to to live under uh, but it's it's also very refreshing uh, I, I say it's hard to live under because when um, when you come when an open leader comes in and says all right this is our project and everybody gets a voice in it and, and you need to speak up uh, there's a lot of people um, who who don't want that responsibility. They want to be told what to do and, and say, hey, just give me some direction and I'm off doing it. And, and I see that a lot of times in my own work. I really, there are some times when I really like to say, I don't want the responsibility of making the decisions. I just want to do the work and get done with it. Um, but open leadership doesn't work that way. Open leadership says, um, <coughs> Trust the people you're working with. Uh, give them, empower them to make their own decisions and, and, and follow their own good judgment. And, and then just as the leader, you just try and keep up with the, the good people who are working with you. So um, just a couple of things on, on open leadership is um, I think the quiet leader is the the person who really does um, lead in open leadership because they're not so worried about uh, taking charge and, and making sure that, that their vision is followed but uh, as opposed to they want to make sure the the vision for the for the group is, is followed and um, <coughs> um, And we're in an open leadership. You're you're a very authentic leader. Um, you're not leading because you have 
you, something to prove you're leading because um, you really feel that the people you're working with have a, 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 a vision and a desire to, to do what's, what's right. So open leadership is um, it's not better than uh, leadership anywhere else, but sometimes it's more satisfying, uh, and, and it's also um, depends a lot more on, on trust and your ability to, to trust the people you're working with and uh, and knowing and those people stepping up and, and um, taking the reins of leadership on their own too. Not necessarily that they make decisions, but but they say um, they know, they understand that um, <coughs> they are experts. You, you don't have these open people working with you because they're uh, um, just trying to have a job. They're there because um, they have a, a passion or desire or a skill in this area and they really want to exercise it. So um, I hope my rambling wasn't too rambalicious and uh, I hope I didn't mumble too much for you, Susan, and, and that this is on time. And uh, please enjoy this call. I had fun. It's Halloween coming up soon and, and uh, yeah, that's my excuse. All right, bye.